Hi YouTube, it's Passion and in today's video I'm going to quickly show you how to make resin charms and keychains. So of course you'll need some resin and I just bought this gallon kit at eBay for around um, 50 bucks. You don't really need a gallon kit but it depends how much you're going to make. Some cups to mix it in. So you're going to mix them into a one to one ratio. So let's say I were to fill this whole cup with part B and then I would have to uh, fill this whole cup with part A and then you would have to pour them together in a bigger cup and mix them up and then you would pour so then next you'll need the mold you're going to use what you're going to pour your resin to as you can see I have a lot I just might use the medium heart and um, the large heart mold which I'll show you in a minute and then next you'll need some like little I guess not finely milled glitter I don't know what these little glitter heart things are called you'll need some of these so you can put like little glitter hearts and stars to your resin pieces and then you will need a finely milled glitter to add some um, little little glitter bits in the back, you know. And then if you want like some iridescence in the back like this, then you will need some of that too. I bought some of this at uh, Michael's. Next, you will need some acrylic paint and like I said I live in a very noisy neighborhood so only some of this is going to be voiced over because it's just too noisy here's some other glitters that you can possibly put in there and then of course let me move back to my ring light because it's dark over here you'll need some stickers I order the stickers mainly on AliExpress, but I did find this one for a dollar at the flea market. And they have to be the kind that are not paper. If they are like the paper kind, then you'll have to cover them with a transparent um, tape or laminate them because the resin will sink into the paper. So it's pretty dark over here, but as you can see, I have some layouts over here of little resin charms that I want to make. As you can see, I'm going to also put like little uh, flowers and like little beads in there that I have. I also have these ones. Let me move into my, my ring light so you guys can see them. And my god, every possible noising car that is passing is passing. We could put these two. Oh, and then you're going to have to need, you're going to need something to mix the resin with. So I'm sorry my setup isn't like beautiful and you know like pastel color and perfectly organized but you know what this is how re reality looks like. So I do strongly recommend that um, you use plastic over your table because if you get resin on your table you will ruin your table. And then also, uh, you can wear some gloves too. I don't, but you probably should. I wear gloves sometimes, but you probably should. Um, I also recommend wearing like an apron so you don't ruin your clothes because, you know, resin does not come off. That's my apron. Yep, so. Let's get started.
Alrighty, hi YouTube. It is the next day and it still hasn't quite been 24 hours, but you know, I'm impatient and I already looked at some of these as you can tell. So I'm just going to be careful not press on it too too much, but I'm pretty sure it's it's more than dry enough. So, let's look at some of these. Let me move all this all this stuff out. Of oh, it's stuck. And I just painted my nails, so be kind. So I can't really clean it up. So, you know, after your pieces come out, you might have to uh, sand the edges around so they're not sharp. This one has some um, air bubbles, sadly. This one actually moved, and I didn't notice, but it's supposed to be more over here. But oh well, it happens. And we have a small air bubble right here too. And then we have some really small ones. And the chocolate bar. But you know, these can't come out absolutely perfect. We didn't make them in a factory. I think this one is my favorite. What I didn't think was going to happen was that you can barely see the small pink rose there because it blended to the pink background. Another little small air bubble. Uh, behold the mess. Okay.
Oh yes, my hands are quite a bit dry. Just try to ignore that. I just painted my nails and um, I cleaned them up and let's just say the nail polish remover is spilt over my hands. But look, we have a little small air bubble too. It just happens sometimes. We have a very big air bubble right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And a little one. And a little one here. Next we have these little ones that are just extra and the resin was drying already because I took so long making the big hearts. So I had to, had to work very quick so they're not that uh, intricate. But they are Sailor Moon. Oh my god, my hands are so dry. I'm so sorry. But you know what? I am too lazy to refilm this. This is just how it's going to be. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Alrighty, so that is it, and I do strongly recommend waiting the 24 hours to wait for them to dry. If they do not dry after, let's say like, I don't know, two days, maybe you did some thick charms or whatever, 
um, then I don't think it's going to dry. You could try putting it in the sun, but this is not UV resin, so it might not do anything. So if your pieces are like um, bending and they're soft still, that just means uh, you didn't mix the ratio. Blah. That just means you didn't mix the ratio correctly, and it, it happens sometimes. Or there is a possibility that your resin has to be like, let's say, it has to be like eight ounces to eight ounces. Because, you know, maybe it's like a table mixture. Because that's what my resin is for. It's for tables. So maybe you need a lot more than just a little bit. Like if you, let's say, let's say you only do one ounce of one to one ratio, that might not work. Because that is uh, very little. So this is how much one ounce is. So that might not work with the resin. So it really depends on the resin. You can experiment and to see how little you can use or how much you have to use. But normally it'll say in the bottle. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I am so sorry about my really dry hands.